Hello guys, this is Ninumist and today I'm back with yet another unboxing of the Indian releases of Beyblade Burst Evolution or Beyblade Burst God, you can say anything. So today we are going to unbox Siege Excalibur or Surge Excalius or Excalibus X3. It's not Bus, it's Excalius X3. Yeah. So this is like a pure attack type Beyblade. Really cool. I especially do love this Beyblade a lot. Like... Obviously, my first preference is obvious like Nightmare Longinus, but the second one, if you say I do like this Beyblade as an attack type, like it's awesome with the sword thing going on and like the Excalibur, like you, everyone knows, right? What is Excalibur? The mighty sword, which is like wielded by the King Arthur and like all the legend things. So besides that, it's like a really cool Beyblade and... Um, Basically, like there is nothing like today. We'll just see the back of the box also. Just like the labels and the stickers are there, which uh, have to be applied with the Beyblade. So that's it. That's pretty much uh, in the box. Let's tear apart the box, man. Seriously, I don't know. This. Ah. This was like a unique <laughs> tear there. So let's get the Beyblade out so first we have this uh, proto uh, launcher and uh, string so basically actually today I'm going to just share my views about the proto launcher like uh, instead of just calling it bad in every other video basically it's like a very uh, poor kind of uh, thing which is done by fun school like you shouldn't uh, like even uh, include such launchers man like just say like even like fun school and previously like uh, Takara Tommy also like including these launchers are like um, a really petty thing to do basically you should unlo uh, like start at least with the basic launchers which the uh, first generation base used to come with the Valkyrie which was like the V2 which is like the victory Valkyrie which used to come with a decent launcher like at least give that when like how are how do kids play with this launcher like i know it's supposed to be safe but this is like uh, ultra safe man the beyblade won't even spin sometimes so just start uh, take it out and find like if fun school or takatomi is watching maybe they're not actually if if they are like just work on with the launchers and something like some good give something good in the box at least like a decent i'm not asking for a string launcher but like a decent launcher would uh, really help the people get more inst interested in Beyblade. Like if they can launch the Beyblade properly, then only they will play more and like get interested. Like the Proto Launcher doesn't even launch the Beyblade properly. It's like uh, 10, like half of the time the Beyblade just falls off or uh, get keeps uh, attached to the launcher. Like it's really lame there. So, but anything like fine everyone is happy like we are getting the Beyblades and I guess that's fine but still it, it should improve somewhere so well like just chuck that we'll take a look at the stickers now the stickers are really awesome and uh, we have seen the stickers already but uh, the stickers are like uh, they provide a very elegant look to the Beyblade the layer like that's it for the stickers and like I really love the stickers because they uh reflect and uh, completely change the getup of the layer there so let's take a look at the driver now basically the driver is known as iron so when i first heard about this driver i was super hyped and super pumped because iron is like metal flat from mfb series and uh, metal flat from mfb series is like one of the best stamina and attack type combination drivers uh, like sorry not the drivers the tips ever so I was uh, kind of expecting the same thing from this but uh, this is like a very okay driver if you really want to use this you need to balance tune your combos really properly I would explain what is balance tuning in the next video or I would just no I'm not going to explain I would just provide a link down below to a channel known as wombat I think so uh, yes so you can like watch the video has explained it very beautifully so apart from that the driver is like why is it stopping to the focus like i don't know the driver is pretty much decent like not 
द वेरी मच गो टू स्टेपल ड्राइवर इट्स लाइक अ ओके ड्राइवर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज इट इट्स रियली फाइन बट नॉट अ मस्ट हैव और समथिंग लाइक दैट द वन डेस्क इज प्रिटी मच रियली गुड फॉर अटैक एंड इट्स लाइक मेड टू गो विथ एक्स कैलिबर सो बेसिकली I don't know, but uh, the one disc does shine with Excalibur sometimes, but it's like a pretty decent disc, not consistent as or none, like not consistent always. It can break many times, like breaking happens. Breaking as in not the breaking, breaking as in uh, bad launches or the wavelength not going into attack type, like the condition where things don't go in your favor. That is also called breaking. You can read it on Google. breaking doesn't essentially mean breaking of the part so that's it for the disc there and obviously the best thing is the layer the layer is like really awesome the sword looks amazing like this beyblade uh, all those indian releases which i have unboxed i'm not going to use them at all because they are going to be like this for collection all the time now I was like all the Indian releases which I unbox. The battle videos are going to be only from the Chozy base and the Japanese releases which I have uh, got. I have many of them, so the battles would be interesting always. So you won't be seeing these base in battle. These are like collection purposes only because it's like a awesome thing in India, and I want to keep this memory always. So let's come back to the layer. I keep on sharing my things a lot. so the layer is basically a huge metal chunk here in the middle which is a excalibur sword and it provides great attack type powers to the layer and uh, if you can connect properly it's a one hit or two hit burst or ko obviously every time but the down downside is that if uh, your opponent is not using god base and it's he is using chozy base just like legends friggin what i said it's going to be like a disaster for you so this layer is really good for god base like you can do pretty much great attacks with this layer and like decent uh, more than decent i would say i would say like it's it goes into the a tier uh, series for attacks if you are only playing with god base that is so keep that in mind so this is like a very good beyblade to buy and uh, i know you guys must be wondering where is prigan requiem and drain fafnir and nightmare longinus so the next video is obviously going to be about uh, one of these three whichever comes first and then preceding uh, next and next days uh, the other two and then the last one so that's it for today guys stay tuned take care and bye bye